Well, uh, as you discovered during the uh, first part of the press conference, um, I'm very excited about, uh, about the hiring of Jay Hobson. Um, I think we've hired one of the great coaches in the country. And uh, most importantly, I think he's the right head coach for Southern Miss. I think it's a, I think it's a tremendous match. And uh, look forward to many, many years of success. So, questions? Jay, if you can, real quick, yes. I know you, you have a great quarterback coming back, a senior who's really piled up a lot of impressive statistics. Talk about your philosophy in the offense and what you expect to do with tomorrow. Well, we'll still be a spread, up tempo, fast paced offense. There won't be a lot of change in that regard. So, uh, Nick is definitely a tremendous football player. So. We're definitely going to utilize his talents, you know, throwing the football. It's something that he does extremely well. He's also a very talented athlete, so uh, excited about him. And that's one of the first people I talked to yesterday. Uh, he's just a key ingredient to everything we do. Bill, what can you tell us about the, the contract terms? Today? Well, let's get right to it, David. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. I thought we'd talk a little football first. Actually, Jack, I think Jack has the terms that he'll share with you. And uh, so let's just do it that way. I'll let him provide you the, the, the terms, and he can do it now. And if you have any questions with that, let me know. But I think we've got a, a strong mutual commitment uh, to each other. And, uh, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's a fair uh, contract, both for the institution and for, and for Coach Hobson. And one of the things I mentioned uh, – to a lot of people that I talked to last night and then at lunch today before the press conference was that when they saw this contract, they would understand the commitment that Jay Hobson was making to Southern Miss, that it was, that it was not simply um, telling us that this was his dream job or his destination, but, but that in fact, contractually, uh, he would make a commitment to that, to that effect. And, and really, I, you know, I didn't think that was necessary entirely. Um, I don't want his agent to know that, but uh, because I, I also mentioned at lunch that, that we asked a few of our candidates about what their dream job was and uh, to, to see what kind of response would come. And, um, and any number of answers for most people would have been fair answers. And, but when we got to Jay, and Jay and I ended up visiting three different times, um, I, I didn't feel like I needed to ask that question in that pointed kind of way like I did some other candidates because it was just plainly obvious to me that he wanted to be the head football coach at Southern Miss and that he had been thinking about being the head co football coach at Southern Miss for a long time. It wasn't so, something in the last seven days when the job came open that, uh, that he started thinking about. Did you know him before this week? Did not. Did not. I mean, not in any depth. Um, Jay and I met my first year here, and uh, he actually he and I actually spoke together on a on a panel at the Mississippi High School Athletic Directors Association convention. Uh, I think about halfway through my first year, and and uh, we were both there and and uh, shared a presentation uh, then, and then and then I've been with each other at some award ceremonies and some functions like that. But but really, this week was the first time. We had had a chance to really visit in depth. Of course, when his football team came here in the 2014 season, we had a chance to visit after the game briefly. I, I made a point of going to his locker room, which I haven't done very often, um, after that game. And because uh, that game, you know, told me a lot about the Alcorn State football team players and, and Jay. And uh, I actually met his family that night outside the locker room. And then he and I had a chance to, to uh, visit then. And, and I congratulated him on and there are no moral victories, uh, but that was a hard-fought game that could have gone either way, so we had a chance to visit then. I will tell you, though, in the search process, that um, as an AD, you have to be prepared for these kinds of opportunities and, and challenges, if you will, and regardless of when they happen. And uh, uh, so about a year ago, when I started um, fine-tuning my database, you know, after our second year here. And it was apparent to me at that time, even coming off of a three-win season, where our program was headed, um, I wanted to be sure I was well prepared. So over the course of the last year, 
uh, knowing that the possibility of, of Coach Munkin leaving could occur, I didn't know if it would be this year, next year, or five years from now, I was going to be ready to go. And the, and the first time I updated that database as, as the AD at Southern Miss, I had Jay Hobson uh, at the top of that database. Based on the things I described in the press conference, um, and uh, his work at Alcorn State, you know, um, had my attention from day one. And, uh, you know, and you keep fine-tuning those lists and do those kinds of things over the course of time. But so um, he was a target from the get-go. And uh, but I needed and, and we needed to spend a lot of time together talking about the future of our program. I met with him last night, Patrick. I, I, we called him in, uh, and I've certainly, when you're coaching for 25 years, you, I've been in just about every situation, scenario you can go through. So I understand what they're going through, what their families are going through. I understand the whole, the whole process. But uh, I met with him, and I just let them know that I wanted to talk with each and every one of them Thursday. I'm going to set up interviews. And, uh, you know, I'm a guy that uh, I look at things uh, – in depth, you know, I'm not just going to walk in and just say, "Here we go." I want to talk to the coaches, and I want to do my due diligence. But I'm also going to talk to other coaches, you know. And what I what I like to say is, I, I'm rehiring. I'm hiring. I'm not firing. You know, what I'm saying I've got to hire basically nine full time coaches to be on the field. So I am going to be in the hiring phase, but I'm going to talk to a number of candidates. I'll, I'll dress it up a little bit for you, Patrick, right there, a little bit. Yeah, we'll still be a little blue collar. I'm going to dress it up because he's going to be here a while. Jay, um, you know, all of us, as we go through our career, right. and we take a new job, and even if it's in the same industry, you know, I'll tell you what your first temptation is. Right. And we all learn things from our first experience in this position. Right. Go over a couple of the things that you really learned at Alcorn that you really took away from this to make you a better head coach. Well, I think the, the biggest thing is uh, probably any time you're in the people business or, or putting a staff together, I think it always helps to go through it because you you understand things that, um, you know, you'll always make a move here, a move there. Lanny, I think that you said, okay, maybe I should have done that or did this. But I think at the end of the day, I just think the more experience that you have dealing with all situations, whether it's staffing, media, uh, different phases of the game, offensively, defensively, or special teams. And I'm an all-encompassing coach, man. You know, I like to be involved in all three areas. I'm not a lot of guys, I think, like to do that, but that's something that I'm all about. And, and uh, I think uh, it's been a great experience for me. And, and uh, you know, I'm, certainly I've enjoyed it, and I enjoy being a head coach. I actually enjoy being a head coach a lot more than I do being an assistant coach. So uh, it's been a fun experience. Bill actually told it to me face to face, Ernest, instead of over the, phone, over the phone right there. But it was a, it was a, it was a great feeling. It really was uh, because this is a destination place for me. Uh, and uh, when Bill Bill told me that uh, he was offering me the job, he can tell you it was a quick handshake. You know, there wasn't a lot of negotiation in this process. You know, a lot of times, and I know Southern Misses battle over the years. Sometimes there's negotiation going on. Jay Hobson wanted this job. And as Bill just talked about earlier, I, I put it in writing. You know, I wanted to be the head football coach here. And that's certainly an opportunity that I'm grateful for Bill and Dr. Bennett for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I'm very excited about it, Ernest. What was it like leaving Alcorn State after you built the program? You know, it's tough. It's always tough, you know, because so much love, so much. Anytime, you know, you have a football team that, uh, you know, you, you bleed and sweat together. And, and we're talking about a football team very similar to the program that we have here at Southern Miss. We're talking about a program that had won two games, uh, really won in FCS, and the first year four wins. Then we progressed to nine, ten, nine, a couple conference championships. It's that same progression, you know, and that's something I think our, our staff has done. I think especially our conditioning staff has done a tremendous job of molding that mindset. 
out there working out. But anytime you're building a program, you know, and you're coming from one, three, nine, there's a, there, there's a lot of work. And there's a lot of blood and sweat that goes into that, getting getting that accomplished. And I'm, I'm really uh, fascinated by the guys that we have coming in right now at Southern Miss because, you know, I know there's something to a lot of these guys because they made a commitment to go from that to where they are right now as Conference USA West champs. Really the biggest thing I told them in the meeting is let's do everything in our power just to knock the West off of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that's our vision right now. We want to try to come in and be a consistent winner. What are some of the things that Tom Brady thinks that are better coaching over doing some bigger coaching? Well, I, I think they're going to love our, our our style of play. I mean, bottom line, we're going to be a, a, a fast, uh, we're going to be an up-tempo spread offense, we're going to be a physical multiple defense. Uh, you know, we're going to be a solid always special teams unit. I think the style of football play that we're going to have, I think is going to be very attractive, not to mention what a great university, what a great atmosphere in the rock, you know, the tradition, the history, you know, not only the championship tradition, also the NFL tradition. You know, those are things I think that, that attract young men to Southern Miss, and, and uh, I'm excited about it. How much will you be looking at some of the all foreign coaches? I'm going to look at everybody. Yes, I certainly would be crazy not to look at some. I mean, that's the reality of this game. Uh, there's certainly been some men that have done so many wonderful things at Alcorn. But I'm going to look at all coaches. Uh, I'm not going to really get into uh, the, the hiring process until probably Thursday. But that won't, it won't be long. We, we'll have a pretty quick transition there, and, and uh, we'll have our staff in place. Last question. Can you talk about Fred McNair and stepping into the NFL first year? I think Fred will do a tremendous job. I really do. You know, played at Alcorn, was an outstanding football player. And Steve, his brother, was – one of the greatest players in the history of the state of Mississippi. So Fred will step right in and do a tremendous job there. Coach, Take a couple more. Go ahead, Jeff. Coach, understand there was a point in time, not technically there was a point in time, hey, Jeff. Uh, there was a point in time where certain fans were wearing the right to be wearing the seven different jerseys. Right. Kind of talk about what we're seeing right now in that You know, the Lord puts you on, on a funny run in coaching. It really does. I tell you, I've, I've been blessed. I, I've talked to a lot of groups, and I, I usually say, hey, I've been a part of teams that won 15 games, 13 games, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I've been part of SEC championships, Conference USA championships, MAC championships, Southern Conference championships, SWAC championships, FBS national championship game, FCS national champs, and HBCU national champs. And I said, but I've also been on teams I was scared to run out of a tunnel with on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon. So it's amazing the journey of coaching. And I think sometimes in that journey, you learn sometimes a little bit more from the losses than you do the wins. And, uh, you know, and so that's one thing that I always try to uh, communicate to my players and to my team. You know, this is a life journey. You know, that's what football is. And it's such a, it's a beautiful game because it correlates so much to life. And that's kind of who Jay Hobson is as a football coach. Hey, Rick. No question. I probably could do a lot more than three, but, but you know, Coach Bauer is by far the most structured, organized. Uh, you know, a lot of coaches like to say they're disciplinarians. Coach Bauer was a disciplinarian, and um, he was such a man of integrity. And the one thing, you'll probably make me tear up a little bit, but the one thing that uh, he taught me that kind of got in my soul was how to battle adversity. And, uh, you know, that's something I learned. That's something I kind of relate to my to my team, and I try to do the best job I can do to let them know those times are coming, how you battle through them, and uh, that's, he was a living role model for me. So more in the back. Yeah, Coach, uh, you came in and built up an all point state program with the players and the staff, and now you're coming into another situation, you talked about it a little bit already, uh, with Southern Miss, where you know, four wins, three wins, but now they've already turned the corner a little bit, so does your approach change at all, uh, trying to build that momentum now? Well, you know, I am who I am. You know, and, and that's the reality. You know, we're, we're not uh, – I'm not coming in here. We're just coming in here to win. You know, put a staff together, coach hard, uh, recruit hard, uh, do everything we got to do to win. You know, Saturday afternoon at 7 o'clock, that takes care of itself. You know, we're not, we're not talking about what happened then, what's going to happen. To, we're attacking the day. You know, and in football, that's what you have to do. You have to live in the present. And, and that's what we're going to do. You know, it's, it's a whirlwind time for me. You know, my brain's going 19 different directions right now. But at the end of the day, 
when we get everything in place, you know, we're just going to work, and, and we know what our goals are. That's it. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, thank Appreciate you. It.